All right, I'm back. So I figured it out, I think. I think I figured it out. Really? Okay, maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Oh no, guys, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> what do I do? I think this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm pretty sure this is correct. more sense. I got I, I got really confused. to link that my bad so I want to drain you drum put that down to boom here we ask about crop rotation Okay, so it works. It works, I think. I think it works. <laughs> I'd prefer it didn't show it at all, but I think that's just part of the test uh, thing that they show. Hey Sam, I need you to rewrite this dialogue in a, in a filthy peasant tone. Please, please and thank you. Because I'm lazy and I don't want to do it. <laughs> so now we're going to do punch the farmer. I'll use part of that. I'm quick, I found a body.
I get your joke. I get your joke. No, his head hit the ground. Also, he's a farmer <laughs> in, in 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 medieval times, so he's probably like super unhealthy and dirt poor. <laughs> Not nutritionally balanced at all. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Shadowgate being another classic uh, adventure, adventure story thing. Oh yeah, totally, McKelly. Um. There's a lot of really cool stuff um, that you can do with that. And I haven't really been showing it because we're not really getting too hard into it uh, today. But you can have stats and you can have uh, descriptors and things and make conditions based on those stats. Um, and do all kinds of cool things. See that map again. <laughs> but 
but I like that. I'm gonna write that down. Writing things down. I mean, in some ways, um, what you're talking about is how RPGs ended up doing it soon after. Not you, Sam McKelly. Where they went to that like menu based fight system, right? Okay, Sam, your next assignment uh, is I need a title and I want the title to be in the sort of detective tradition like that Sir Arthur Conan Doyle style of like a study in Scarlet or um, <laughs> God, why can't I remember more Sherlock Holmes books? I'm disappointed in myself. Characters. Sassy sidekick. <laughs> Parrot with an eye patch. I thought blood in the well. There's no well. It's a dungeon, I tell you. A dungeon. Uh, I need to look at the thing real quick here. Oh, they released the scripting language they used? That's amazing. That's so cool. It's got Unity integration. Oh my god. Why? Why am I not using this right now? <laughs> I'm literally downloading it this, like right this second. Okay. Glass job, moose job. Peasant times, no one even notices it. Yeah, oh yeah, I can I can show this actually over here. So they they designed the 80 Days app and Sorcery app, which was really, really cool. Um I loved the I loved it like them so much. They were amazing. I did not know that they released this. Um I haven't been on I haven't looked at their stuff lately in like uh probably about six months or so. Uh there's so cool stuff. Like, I'm so into this. <laughs> I have no words. Like, I, I'm just like, yes, this has to happen right now. Yeah, but yeah, in Unity integration. Um, and this is kind of what I was talking about. Um, this sounds like the tool that they released for developers to use. So that you could... Uh, export using JSON or Unity and all that stuff. And I would love, I would love if you wanted to help on this, Michele. That'd be sweet, man. I'm into that. <laughs> I 
I know. I sound like such a tool right now. <laughs> I'm all excited and stuff. Yeah, they uh they are really good at at uh, graphic design and UI. It's one of the things that really makes their games good. Is how they have their UI set up. Um, actually, I, I should show a little bit, uh, not too much, because I don't want to spend too much time not writing and stuff. But if I go to eighty days. Here, see this? This is how you play the game, where you click on these little pop-up icons, and and they give you these text options like this. It's so cool the way that they do it. Um, yeah, you have like this little inventory thing that size matters. Like the size of the object, you can only carry so many things and you have to buy extra suitcases and stuff like that. And you have this whole money management system behind it. Uh, you'll see there you have like this much money and this many days left sort of thing and super cool. Very, very, very cool. Alternate history steampunk. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 an amazing game. I highly recommend it. It it's eighty bucks it's ten bucks on Steam? Cool. I got it in a humble bundle ages ago. Really awesome. Along with the sorcery, uh, parts one and two of sorcery, which are super cool. Yes, Passport 2 totally carries a huge bag of money. Um, actually, actually, you say that you play par Passport 2. You don't play the other guy. You play Passport 2. <laughs> so like you, that's why you're the person who like arranges the tickets and does all that stuff. It's because you're Passport 2. <laughs> yeah, Robzy, I remember. I've been playing too much VR. Too much VR. Let's get this running. Oh, nice. <laughs> you were in Germany, Robin. What do you want? Couldn't do anything about it. All right, so how do I use this? <laughs> Learning on the fly.
Interesting. So if I put this here. Do go outside. I know it does, it does have to have a mega tangent. Mostly because I am full of mega tangents. Which I assume is the joke. I assume that's the joke. Interesting. He's he's a he's a member of the town guard. He just has a sword. Like what do you want? I thought he was a lieutenant captain or something. Stop trying to poke holes in my fun. I'm not trying to be logical right now. I'm just trying to do things. Chief Inspector Gene Hunt. Well, you know. Even if they only hate, they still hang out with me. I'm okay with this. I said 14A, Drani, 14A. So then how do I get it to go to Ah, gotcha. So 
So if I do this. Does that make sense? Am I crazy? I don't have any text here, so. That's it. But I can do this. Cool. I'm getting this. I'm getting this. Such a catchy song. Yeah, we can go cave exploring. I just, uh, I wanted to try it out. See what, uh, see what this stuff does, man. What it does. Let's write a section here.
This is probably tiny, isn't it? Whoa. Cool. Not what I want. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, chat being real salty tonight. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Um. I think there'd be an easier way for me to just tell it to... be real big. Hmm. Hmm. Well, whatever. I'll go back to the other one so you guys can actually see. But I really think that's awesome, and I'm going to keep working on that. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know. It just happens, okay? Stop worrying about the small stuff. Well, the farmer doesn't go in the cave. He's not stupid. Of course it's a wizard's cave. Uh, there are magnets in the cave. <laughs> All the salt, so salty. Search the sack and I pick up a torch. I go inside the cave. I don't die. Excellent. I got it to work. Got it to work. Jokes. Super jokes. Where's my pad of paper? So, uh, Sam is correct, and this is some Zork, Zork level stuff going on. So let's talk about it a bit. Salt aside, I know you guys are crazy salty. But let's, let's think about what kind of story this, this is. And I mean, we're, we're kind of fooling around with, or I'm fooling around. <laughs> uh, with this guy, but
But yeah, let's let's think about structure of this a little bit. Options, plans, that kind of thing. So let's start. And I'm kind of working on paper here, but uh, start. How are we introduced to the character? I guess I don't even need to do this as a structure. I should just do this as questions. How are we introduced to the character? Robin would be really good at that kind of style too. She loves her realism. Her waiters need a reason to wait on the main character's table for some strange reason. Um, how much choice? Does the player get in the character? Uh, what's the inciting incident? Didn't you send me an email about that this morning, Sam? Was that not from you? <laughs> I swear it was from you. I suppose it's not important. Okay. So I'm waiting for the blockbuster movie of this fanfic.
Just ignore them, Drani. Just ignore them. They're having fun. I appreciate that. They're being creative. <laughs> also, they do this anyway. Like, they're just gonna keep going forever. It's, it's fine. There's no way to stop it. Just let it happen. So I'm kind of thinking of uh, what's uh, what I want the, the a, a game design document about this idea to look like. What information do I need? What do I want to know about the story? Uh, how do I want to present it? out a bit there so we can see I'm wondering if I should use sections less more often maybe Do we want there to be trackable stats? Like how RPG do we want to go? Well, I was kind of thinking it'd be as a detective game it'd be really cool to reinforce the player for being inquisitive or asking questions or doing things that would indicate intuition and having that improve your intuition stat over the course of the game so the more decisions you make the better you are at intuition and that leads you to have uh, choices that you wouldn't necessarily get uh, not having that intuition. Is, is the iPad pad, is the parrot's name Rawl? I'm cool with that. I'll, I'll put it down. Rawl. Um, I don't think there will be companions. There might be items. Oh wait, it's a dating sim, so there has to be companions.
You guys are so weird. I love it. Anyway, I'm going to take another uh, five-minute break. Get whatever this is out of your system. <laughs> You weirdos.